June is Alzheimer's and Brain Awareness Month, and worldwide, 50 million people are living with Alzheimer's and other dementias. Yeah, and joining us now to talk about the epidemic of cognitive decline and what's being done about it is Dr. Stephen Wander, author of Finding a Wandering Mind. Thanks so much for coming on. Thanks for having me. So first, what is Alzheimer's and does it just affect the elderly? No, Alzheimer's is of seven stages. So there's, uh, you start with typically subcognitive uh, sub co clinical uh, decline, which is typically when the person starts to notice, hey, I'm not as sharp as I used to be. Okay. Then the move into mild cognitive impairment, which is when other people, family members, friends, coworkers start to notice. And a lot of times there's a lot of denial. And these people you know because they're overtaking notes, they're using a calendar and basically if they lost this calendar, their life would be ruined. And then you okay. can move into the other stages of Alzheimer's. And so it's now the third leading cause of death. And unfortunately, there's no traditional medical model care for these people. If you get diagnosed, they're basically told, hey, get your affairs in order, get a power of attorney, and all of the treatment is for the actual caretaker, mm -hmm. not for the patient. Yeah, wow. so how do you diagnose it? Because sometimes I think I'm forgetful and I'm like, oh no, I've yeah. got you know, early signs of dementia. Yeah. So how do you know if it's just forgetfulness or you know, something well, more well, serious? Well, there's state-of-the-art technology now where we can do a brain MRI without contrast and get a report, and the port report can show you how much shrinkage is actually in the brain, and this can be done up to 40 years before there's any mental uh, decline going on. Uh -huh. And so a lot of people, especially if they're family members or friends and they've seen someone suffering from this, they're like, hey, I want to get this checked out. And there is a new protocol which was invented in 2014, which as long as the person's not in stage six or seven Alzheimer's, mm -hmm. has a 92% success ratio. Okay. Really? Yeah. So let's talk about the, the traditional treatment. What is that? There's none. Okay. Pfizer in Ju January of this year stopped all its funding and they said, hey, this doesn't work. And the 360 people in that uh, division were all laid off. And is it reversible? It is 92% it is successful okay. in reversing and preventing as long as someone is not in too late of a stage, six, stage it. six or seven. Okay, okay, so if we want to find out more information, where can we go? Uh, we can go to my website, which is drwander.com with doctor spelled out. All right. Perfect. Thank you Thank so much you for so being much. here. Thank you for having me. All right. We'll be right back.